Welcome back to Make It Mental, everybody. Now, since I've increased my track width with the new suspension, articulating suspension for my uh, COVID-19 rally car, right? some of the things may not make sense at first. Sorry, my air conditioner is actually running. And that's the, if you watch it, the other video, why you make one part at a time, it's because I cut this one and this one at different angles or different sizes than that one, even though if you look at them like this, outside of this one being turned upside down, they look fairly similar, but they are just slightly different. So now that the track width has been extended, I need some new dog bones. It's going to take far too long to get them in here, and they might not be as durable as I want. So 50 millimeters is the original size. I want to increase it basically 10 millimeters. So here's a sleeve that I use. It's actually five millimeters outside diameter, three millimeter inside diameter, which happens to be the diameter of that particular shaft for this vehicle. And I went ahead and twisted the little, uh, little pins 90, 90 degrees opposing each other, or as close as I could get it. And I went ahead and put a little bead of solder on there. It is a fairly tight fit. I've had to beat it in with a hammer, and then I went ahead and flexed it and just put a little bit of solder, as you can see the little shiny, shiny silver area right there. So now these dog bones, as long as I'm not putting anything more than 3S through there, they, they should be fine. Granted, if you're using a bigger vehicle like an X-Max, you're gonna have larger dog bones anyway, and so more power, larger dog bones, larger springs, larger tires, everything is gonna be bigger than what this little thing is anyway. So. Keep that in mind. Have a good day.